Your mama is holding you back and you need to get away from her. You see a lot of single moms do this. They like to treat their sons like they their husbands. And that's wrong. You see, your daddy left, your stepdaddy left, and her boyfriend left. So she's relying on you for that masculine energy. But that's not your role. You are her son. You have your own life to live. But you see, as men coming from single moms, we're conditioned to feel bad. We're conditioned to feel guilty. But it's okay, I'm here to set you free. It's okay to leave. It's okay to start doing you. You don't gotta feel guilty anymore. Just because your mama chose the wrong men, that's not your fault. Just because your parents didn't work out, that's not your fault, man. Live your life. Be free. Go out here, do your thing. Real shit. So the reason I chose this clip in particular is because this is a really common denominator with single moms who treat their hus or their sons as though they are their husband and they are expected to do all the sort of male responsibilities in the home and even you know beyond as an adult and whatnot. And this is beyond just what a son is supposed to do, what he's responsible for for his parents and. Sometimes these mothers become so dependent on their adult son to care for them, to sort of be that, you know, male role in their family and in her life that they are reluctant to let that man go and take care of his responsibilities to the women and whatever children he creates in his life, right? So it's, you know, he might have one foot in with a girlfriend, but he's always got one foot in at his mom's house and in his mom's life. And, you know, when things get tough with his wife or the women in his life, he always runs back to his mom. And that's what his mom wants. That's what she encourages. You know, sometimes these women don't want the men to go and be the providers that they need to be outside of her own home because she's dependent on him as a provider for her, as a, a man for her, you know, someone to do the male jobs and responsibilities. And this is why women need you know men are men have an important role in our lives right that's why women who are building families need to have their own man otherwise they will often end up depending on their sons in an appropriate way inappropriate way you know these are difficult conversations but i think they're important ones to be had um so and you might be thinking how is this a feminist take you know, how is this supportive of women? You have to understand it's the person who suffers is his girlfriend or his wife in the future. So when he goes and maybe he has a child with somebody or ends up with a woman, yet he's constantly being sort of like uh, given a given a safety net from his mom and his mom is constantly pulling him back and you know, she's encouraging him not to take his wife's side. She's encouraging him not to fully be present in the way that he needs to as a man and overcome his own obstacles as a man. She always kind of gives him a get out of jail free card where he can always come home and run away from whatever's difficult with his, you know, spouse and his wife and their children. And his mom leads him to believe that he's, he's only really responsible for her and her home and you know that that aspect of himself and, and a lot of times it manifests in her teaching him that he doesn't have to worry about other women that he gets involved with you know he only has to worry about so I want to discuss this concept that a lot of feminists have that solving problems of patriarchy can be accomplished by raising children separate and away from men that Women together collectively share 100% uh, of the burden of childbirth, child rearing, financial support, everything. While men basically, I guess, deposit sperm and then leave and, and are totally free to go and build their own wealth and enjoy their wealth to themselves and have no responsibility in, in the care and keeping and raising of children. And then women have to sort of live in this sort of like socialist some kind of camp where this, you know, female separatist camp where they take on all of the responsibility amongst themselves. And I wanted to talk about why I, I think that's a really dangerous and misguided idea, especially when it comes to the needs of boys. And if we are to actually shape healthy, strong boys who 
have a sense of responsibility to their community, to their families, to the women in their lives. Um, I think we've seen some of the most toxic male behaviors and patterns that we see actually comes from not having good men, male role models, or a blueprint for what it is to be a man in this world when they see only women doing all of the work. And 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 there's also these, you know, issues of the emotional incest between single mothers and their sons that I think can really handicap uh boys. I mean, we can't, you know, discount the fact that there is it is problematic and the idea that you know women heterosexual women do need the support of the men in their life i mean we are all so interdependent this this toxic idea of the you know super independent woman i don't need a man it is doing a lot more harm than good for women it's saying that women are responsible for everything and that men don't have any set expectations, roles, or responsibilities to the women in their lives, to their families, to children. Um, so I don't know. I want to talk about that coming up. And um, I guess let's get the conversation started. And maybe maybe I'll even make it like a call-in show where we can all sort of discuss these issues together about parenting and, you know, the the raising of boys and girls into strong men and women and... Um, you know, what sort of values we should be instilling in our children.